Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I am speechless right now. I am shaking. absolutely beautiful winter morning the sun is shining the birds are chirping and hopefully the steelhead will be biting we are setting out for a three-day float trip on the river guys we're gonna camp out for two nights and I have no idea what we're gonna find on this adventure I have my buddy Casey joining me and it doesn't look like anybody's floated this stretch of river in a little bit of time so I'm sure we're gonna find some interesting portages but if all goes well we're gonna find some beautiful Michigan steelhead as well just get ready to catch this block here it comes We got our shot pattern doctored up perfectly guys we're gonna start off running a bead here just kind of an orange chartreuse bead and uh we're gonna start with that we start rocking that on the center pin oh this feels good to be pinning man this feels great to be pinning i haven't pinned i've been fishing that paycaster for so long oh i like it i like it a lot that wasn't nearly deep enough Just a nice smooth drift, guys. What a beautiful afternoon. You could not ask for any better weather than this. But uh, there's one. Got him, guys. We've worked this hole for a while. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, he's coming at me. He's coming at me. He's coming at me. This is a feisty fish. Holy smokes, is this thing feisty. Get him in the slower water here, guys. You can see that bead's just pegged right in the corner of her mouth, too. This fish just took off so far down river, dude. Oh my gosh, guys. He's way down below this stick here. Holy cow, he's not in a good spot. Case. He's way down there, bud. There go. If you can go. Casey's going down for the grab. Below me. I don't think I can bring him back up, buddy. He keeps going down. Oh my gosh, I am just hoping for the best right now. He got him. No way. What a net job. It is threaded underneath three trees. What an incredible fish. That was teamwork if I've ever seen it, guys. He made a heck of a net job, and we're gonna get this beautiful wild winter steelhead back in the water. And this is actually a drop back fish, guys. You can tell by her skinny belly. She has already spawned, and she's headed back to the lake, so that just goes to show you these fish will spawn all winter long. Is that a fish? No way! Yeah. Oh, what, right up by the boat? Yeah, right here. 
How cool is that? Oh, and we're floating too, dude. Oh my gosh, the anchor pulled. The anchor pulled. We're going down with them, Case. We're going down with them, guys. What a nut job. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Right by the boat. Well, I can't say that's the way we planned to exit that hole, but thankfully we got the fish in the net. As soon as Casey hooked that fish, the anchor pulled and we started doing 360s down the river, bouncing off brush, but we got her in the boat and we're gonna keep going down the river until we find a good spot to camp tonight. Hell yeah, brother man. Good job, man. <laughs> Yep. Oh, he came off. No, he came off. He came off. No way. First cast with the bag, guys. No way. I'm going to see if I can hook another one on the same bag. Jeez, dude. First cast, he just fell off, too. Head shake, head shake, off. There's one. Holy. Wow, dude. That thing sharked it. What a beautiful afternoon guys you could not ask for any better weather today we're finally getting down river a ways we've actually gone quite a bit farther than what we anticipated on going today we've caught a few fish so we just decided to see as much of the river as we can and just keep motoring so i would say we probably have to decide on a camping spot pretty soon but we're really hoping to try to find a spot where we can fish first thing tomorrow morning before we had to pack our camp up so we're going to keep moseying down river find a spot to sleep tonight Well, what an amazing camp spot this is. This is absolutely perfect. There's a nice flat spot right next to the river. We can set up our camp. I don't know how good this hole is gonna be to fish behind us. We tried taking a couple casts and it's awfully snaggy, but that's okay. We're gonna get camp put up here, guys, get everything unpacked, start making some dinner and enjoy a nice fire by the river tonight. Well, we are just getting some dinner going here, guys. We're gonna do some venison burgers on the grill for dinner tonight. So we have some burger packaged up in these packages. This is actually off of the dough that we harvested last fall. You may have seen us harvest that in one of our previous episodes. And we're gonna do this for dinner tonight. I'm gonna get some patties made up, get them on the grill, and we're gonna chow down because we are both absolutely starving. What a setting, man. The stars are coming out. We're gonna have almost a full moon tonight. The river's trickling, the fire's burning. You just really can't ask for anything more than this.
I always say this guys, but if you've never enjoyed an experience like this, get out there and push yourself to get out there and do something like this. This is such a great way to enjoy the outdoors. And if you have done something like this before, get somebody else out there who's never experienced something like this, because this can honestly change somebody's life to come out here and enjoy a great experience in mother nature. It's just something to be said, man. Wow. Got a couple branches coming at you, buddy. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 Oh, Casey. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, boy, 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 boy. We're bouncing off the logs. Well, by no means did we get an early start to it this morning, guys. We woke up, and it was about 10 degrees this morning. It got really cold last night, so we went back to bed. We slept in a little bit, and now it's warmed up to just a beautiful day. We got up, made a little venison steak, got our camp packed up, and we're set out to find some more steelhead. Oh. oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh! Mainline snap, dude. It's been a tough day. I'm gonna throw my bait caster a couple times. I got a spawn bag rigged up on the bait caster, so we'll throw this bag through here a couple times, guys, and probably go to the next hole. We've been beating the crap out of this hole. Wow. <laughs> Just peeling line, man. This fish is so spunky. It looks like a buck, guys. We've only hooked hens so far on this trip, and this looks like a big buck. This thing is just tearing me up, man. Oh my gosh, this is like a fall fish. Oh, it's beautiful, guys, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful buck. Oh my goodness, look at that big male. I know you guys can't see Kyle's face right now, but he is so in the zone. In the zone. He wasn't a fan of that case. <laughs> no, he was not. Did you get him, bud? Yeah. Oh, dude! <laughs> dude, I am shaking. Absolutely unbelievable, guys. I am speechless. What a fish. I don't have a scale on me, but this fish is definitely upper teens, man. What a beautiful, beautiful wild winter buck. Gorgeous. Oh. 
Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I am speechless right now. That, that fish, I haven't had a chance to get out much this year for steelhead guys. That fish just, that fish made my whole spring. I don't know how big it was. We didn't get any measurements. We got that fish right back in the water, but that fish was definitely in the upper teens. I would say 17 to 19 pounds for sure. Oh, did I get lucky there? Well, that officially does it for day two. We floated a long stretch of river today, probably too long. It was so long, we didn't even get to fish a whole lot, but we did fish a little bit. We caught a couple fish, lost a couple fish, so really can't ask for a whole lot more than that. But we're gonna set up our camp up into the cedars a little bit here tonight, guys, because we're supposed to get some pretty nasty winter weather coming in tonight. We're supposed to get some snow, some high winds coming in overnight, and it looks like tomorrow is gonna be pretty sporty. Just an incredible dinner. A little camp potatoes on an open fire and some venison backstrap. You really can't go wrong. Well, right now is just the calm before the storm. Tonight we're supposed to get some pretty wicked weather rolling in. We're supposed to get high winds, heavy snow. So tomorrow could be a pretty interesting day when we wake up in the morning. But the good news is, is we don't have a long stretch to float tomorrow. And we're going to be able to fish our butts off all day. The last two days we haven't even been able to fish much just because we've been oaring so far. We picked probably a stretch of river that was too long for this adventure, but we've seen a lot of great water. We've caught a few fish and this has just been a great adventure. I really can't ask for anything more, especially after that big double stripe male today. That was such an incredible fish and I'm so thankful to have landed him. Well, the temperatures have significantly dropped, but thankfully we avoided the high winds and the heavy snow that they were calling for. So we're just getting some breakfast going here, guys. We got some venison steak going on the grill. We made some coffee. We're gonna have a muffin and start heading down river and see what this day has in store. We just got started and we got a nice brown on, guys. Oh, 
we got them. Nice brown, guys. That's a beautiful river brown. Well, what a way to start our day, guys. We just got started and landed this beautiful brown here. We're gonna get her right back in the water, but I couldn't ask for a better start to the day. Got him. Oh, that is a screamer, guys. Oh, nice fish case. Nice hen. It looks like a drop back, guys. Oh, nice, Casey. Nice, brother. What a way to start the day, guys. Yeah. Drop back, huh? Drop back hen, guys. Drop back, natural fish. Got the adipose. No, I got beads on. Oh my gosh, she's going down by the wood, guys. She's going down by the wood. Come on, come on back, come on back. Gotta get him. Gotta get him. Got him. Got him out, got him out, got him out. Got him out. Oh, nice hen, guys. Looks like a beautiful, beautiful hen. And this fish is just whooping my butt. It's in wood. Really? Oh, there's the fish. Ah. No way. No way. Broke off. Broke off. There's the bobber. And there went the fish. Womp, 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 womp. Got me in the sticks, guys. Got not, me in the wood, man. Not, not the first time this trip. This is not the first time this has happened, is it? No. <laughs> you know, fourth, fifth, <laughs> dozen, I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sometimes they just win. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. Welcome to Farmington. We've been farming so many fish on this trip, guys. We have lost a ton of fish. So we've had like, what? A dozen. A least. dozen at least? a bunch today that we've lost like right at the boat if not right at the boat shortly after getting in the logs getting in the sticks breaking off popping off main lines breaking main lines breaking but you know what you just gotta love it and you gotta respect these fish that fish is so far down there guys we're almost to the end of our float it's the end of the day and casey has a monster fish on first drift First drip of one of these last holes and it is dandy anyways. Feisty. Come on. Oh, is that a beautiful fish case on the chartreuse beat? Oh! <laughs> yeah. What a great way to end our trip, Case. Last light, guys. One of the last holes of the day in a beautiful male on a bright chartreuse bead, too. Beautiful male after a tough, tough day. It's hard to uh, beat the day with a fish we're just about to pull out. And this fish is feisty. 